Hey guys, Junlocks here, back with our newly blind playthrough of Morrowind. Last time we left off, we were about to go to the Clockwork City. I don't know if I named them properly, but... Alright, right, so I have the True Flame. I have the Dagger of Simicus, just in case. And, I mean, I have a bunch of spells and other stuff, so we are basically good, I think. All right, time for you to go, Loxley. Sothisil must be stopped. Must be stopped. Are you prepared now to stop Sothisil? Take your place amongst the gods. Yeah, she's like, I'm going to kill you when you come back. I'm prepared to go. Then I shall send you now. Do what you must, Nerevarine. Journal updated. Okay, so this is interesting because this actually resembles more those Dwemer ruins we were in. Right? Um, it's, it's entirely possible we didn't I don't know, I kind of like the, the smaller, the cave-like tunnels of the Dwemer stuff rather than the big open halls. But I guess all we saw was war-related stuff. So it's possible they did have bigger bigger hallways or, or whatever, we just never saw it. But who knows, maybe it was a limitation of the engine, I don't know. Alright, regardless, we are here now. Sothisil, Outer Flooded Halls. Sothisil is the name of this place? You know, does the thong work here? I wonder, the thong of Zainab? Let's find out. I mean, I know it works, but does it work on... Ha! Rusted lever. Interesting. Why? Okay, so I see traps and stuff. Why? I assume that's the switch to stop them. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to open the door if you come from a different direction or something. I don't know. Hmm. It's also possible that the thong just doesn't, um... Okay. Right. So this thing is... I, mean, I guess we could just use it right now, right? So did it drown in here or was it already dead? What do you think, Manny? Well, let's... I don't know, we'll just take it. We'll take it for now. It's a potion, technically. So I was thinking more about... I was, I was basically just like, why do I love Morrowind so much? And I don't really care about... Oh, I wonder if those are traps or mechanisms, those dots. And I'm just like, I don't really care about Solstheim. I don't really care about Tribunal. Um, and I think it's... Oh, can I even go this way? Oh, you can. 
Let me guess this. Yeah, of course. And I think it's because Dagoth Ur. Everything's sort of geared around that. All of Morrowind is sort of tied together. It's all about Dagoth Ur and the conflict. And like I said, everything ties into that. All the, well, I mean, sort of. I mean, not every quest obviously goes into that, but, oh, is, what is that? Is that the, that's not the body. That must be the waterfall. But it's like, it's like this whole arc. It's like the main quest, you get there and you, once you get to Balmor and you find out, you start hearing about Dagoth Ur and it's this big threat and then you're involved in it. When you first get there, you're already involved, but you don't know. You know what I mean? Here, I'm in the Tribunal DLC. I, I still don't know what the point of the main quest is. It might be Soth the Sill. It might be Almalexia. If if the question... Oh, that's amazing. Uh, if the question is, you know, is Almalexia good or is she bad? Then that needs to be explored more. It's not at the moment. It's clear she's not good, but that's not the purpose of the main quest, I guess. Okay, here, presumably. Yes, okay, so you can detect them. Someone said the shadow or something was broken. The Shadow Charm, Amulet of Shadows, whatever. I mean, I don't use that. The Chameleon, it seems like they can still see me. You know? I'm gonna be honest, I don't, don't really want to fight these dudes, not immediately. It's, we're gonna have to, because I have to open these doors, presumably, but, um... Huh. I thought I crouched more than that for some reason, but okay. Interesting. Right, it's like we weren't, um... You still have to hide even though you're invisible. You still have to... This is kind of fun. I mean, using the... Just want to, you know, trying to sneak through, basically. That's... It's it's not... Good, I would say. Like, it's me making my own fun, I guess. Oh, ooh. What happens if I get hit? Does that reveal me? South Sill, Hull of Delirium. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's save just in case. But I think that's the big thing: the fact that I'm, I'm just kind of like. Why am I here? Why am I doing the things that I am? Okay, so there's... Man, this range is actually pretty freaking good. 
the thong of Zainab. I was like, eh, whatever, detect animal, but no, it's it's like these are the enemies in this sphere around me. So the level's probably it's probably something like this. You know? Does this hit? Does this hurt? Maybe it's supposed to? Oh, we got spike traps. Alright. Uh huh. I'm guessing there's something behind the door. I can kind of hear it. Oh, I don't know if I... I let go, but it didn't see me, so that's good. Alright, well... No, uh, okay. Yeah, this, I mean, obviously the sound... Huh. I wonder if you need to disarm the trap? I guess I could just do this. Oh, I'm stuck. Or... Yeah... Wait, is that an actual door that you're supposed to be able to open? Well, hello. Oh. I'll take it just because. Oh. For a sec, I was like, wait, you can actually get up there? Wait, did it see me? Oh, yes, okay. Okay, so this thing is freaking awesome. Like, super, super duper awesome. Yeah. It does charge, but, you know. Ah, oh, crap, and I just... Yeah. There we go. I feel like those things... are supposed to be... doing something? But what? I don't know. It's probably a symptom of, let's make things pretty. Which, I mean, that's fine. But... Central gear works. Uh, it saw me. Oh, we got... Arg. But it's, you know... It can't stay in the way of the plot. Plot is more important than... Pretty things. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. I'll use him too in a second. If we can recall out of here. I was looking to see if there was any other stuff. Oh, this is what is this? The door? Just blown open. Is that bad? 
That thing. Oh yeah, one of those things, huh? That's okay. Oh, for a second I was like, oh, it has a lantern on its tail, but no, it's a, it's a stinger. Verminous. Like, a vermin, I guess. So that other one must be poisonous, because it has a stinger. But it's weird, because I thought these things were, but whatever, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, really? I have to get up there and then run and not get whacked? Is that the, the point? Where do I have to go to? There, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, smart. Well, I mean, there's an easy solution, right? I just... So I'm visible now. And then, uh... Where are my boots? Oh, you dick. Oh, that's why they gave you the speed stuff. Yeah, go up there. Go up there and get whacked. Levitation magic does not work here. That's... Why? It... The, the whole recall or intervention thing was only because of... Um, the Heart of Lorcan was right there. Although, apparently, supposedly there's a mechanical Heart of Lorcan or something that, uh, right? Oh, do we have, uh, speed? Something feet? Oh, I have maybe a spell. Oh, I think I have the Ring of Khajiit. Does it increase... What if I speed, yeah. Uh, alright, let's... Okay, that's... so it's... Alright. Well, we'll just use this. Where's the other one? Did that die as well? Looks like it, yes. It's exactly something... Maybe those are light sources. Okay, so we're gonna do this... Okay. I thought I was fast enough, but I guess not. Also, I don't think I... Hmm, where did I save? Whoa, that's loud. Maybe not for you guys, but for me it's... Hmm, okay. Right. didn't see me. I just want to map all this out. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. I should have... Probably should have saved before doing that. Because I should have known.
It must be one that's actually walking around. And you think those are fully lethal? Oh, you think the rest of them are fully lethal too? That is something I hadn't considered. Right, like traps don't just hurt you, they probably straight up kill you here. That's fair. Okay, so the question is... Ah, uh, okay, well... I know, I'm, I'm sure someone's like, oh, you're not supposed to, you're not doing it right or whatever, but that's. Nah, okay, well. Oh, I knocked him down. I thought he was dead. All right, let us do. I don't think shield will work. Uh huh. Restore speed. Jump. Didn't I get a feat of something or other? A Torgo or whatever. Maybe I didn't buy that one. Hmm. Yeah, levitate does not work. I wonder if you could do it just by... Man, that thing is loud. I don't see any switches or anything. Five seconds, six seconds, maybe. We're too slow. I just sort of timed it from the stairs. You either have to get your timing down or... Well, I think you have to use... Okay, well... Ten seconds. I mean, that's enough. Where's my ring of Khajiit? What if I speed for 30 seconds? Was there another? What if I sneak? Okay, 
healing, hellfire, purity body. I, I do see the Ikari in flight. That might actually be a good use of one of them, but I don't want to use them. I only have three. I need to hold on to them. Hoard them like a dragon, I guess. Blood thief, the barriers. Huh, that's not bad, actually. I wonder if we could use this. Might be worth trying. See if we could just jump up there. Probably not. Hop toad, and then I have a ring of. Don't I have a hop toad ring? Did I not bring that? Well, okay, we saved, right? Let's save again just to be sure. All right. This is probably not going to work, but it's okay. Uh, Teener's Hop Toad. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, fall. And then I'm slowly falling and the thing comes around and whacks me. It's like, okay. Try that again, though. Right, Manny? What do you think? Just be careful. Okay, good. I worry. All right, uh. I don't know what it is that determines that. So I need to. We'll try that once more. This is not gonna work, but uh, a teeners hop toad. Oh, oh yeah, because I jumped into the shaft, and then I still kind of floated there. So that was not successful. Kind of funny though. All right, so ring of Khajiit for thirty seconds, and then we'll use one of these and maybe go now. I don't know if the map like is that updated. Maybe so. Run. This is pro. Okay. I'm still taking too long. Where? Let's see. Is this going to kill me? I bet I can go a little higher. Okay. Okay, that's too far. I need to... We need to go now. Run, you little bastard! Run! Get in there! Oh, so close. Close? Yeah, I'm... Messing my words up, I don't know why. <sighs> my little feet were like... It was cute. It was adorable.
At what point do I need to start running? I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I'm certainly gonna try. Oh, sweet Jesus. Can I like hop over the little gap? Is there a way you're supposed to do this? Like you shoot the frickin' thing, or...? Okay, so no, it does not... Is The map is not updated. But it should be any second now. I wonder if these stack. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're supposed to probably jump. I think jumping is faster. But, okay, we're here. Oh, right. Uh, where is... Uh-huh. Dome of Serlin, is he in there? Uh oh. Oh, I see. Oh, these things knock you down, do they? So you have to go in when it... Well, hello. Wait, what do these do? What, are, what do these do? That's... What are these? You have to open both? Come on, dude. Out of the way. There's your combat. Fortify strength. I will take it. Oh, it saw me. Well, uh, where is... Stamina, and then we'll just do one of these. Am I still in combat? Oh no, not anymore. Just took took a minute for the music to go away, I guess. Alright, this one I'll fight, I guess. Well, let's use the ring of... A little disappointing. I figured since they're mechanical, they'd... I assume the name of the game is... Strength... Like here, well, they're, they're tough, but also... They have a lot of spell resistance, I would imagine. Why is it so loud? Sure. Oh, I'm not invisible now. Oh. 
Wait, did that just pop up? Oh, I see. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. I'm seeing all these names. Hull of Miletho, and I'm like, does that... Do the names make a difference somehow? Not to be, you know, I don't know what the word is, dismissive, I guess, but I'm just like, okay, they're, they're cool names, but what's the point? Kind of like, um, here it is. Kind of like uh, all the fortresses, the Dagoth, whatever. They're all named after the Ash Vampire that's inside. Dome of the Imperfect. Do I have to fight these? Or can I just go through? We'll see in a second. so I can fight it. Well, I can also just walk right through, but I want to... Do I have to fight the other one? I noticed it wasn't... It didn't have an arm or something. Yep, okay. Nothing on it, though. Hmm. I also noticed... Yeah, we got a level. Or almost. Almost a level. Uh, okay, well. All right. Right on. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's cool and all, but... Where was that? I don't know. It's like, where... You see, you go into the volcano, right? dig out there is volcano and you see all the power doing this or whatever and then you leave and that's gone and I'm, it's such a little thing but I'm like okay that's neat and the sky clears and you're like oh here it's you go and you see all these spinning gears and you're like it's just like you're like ooh shiny and then you move on I'm, I'm sure like I said they were trying to push the boundaries of you know whatever at the time And that's great and all, but it doesn't really do anything for me. You know, there's no, there's nothing behind it. No emotion, no story, whatever. I don't know. Let's save right here. I figured it would take a couple hours to get through this, to be honest, but... Dome of Soth the Sill. 
Okay. I mean, yeah, I kind of figured that. Dome of the Imperfect, it's imperfect because he wants to make himself perfect or something, but I guess that's him. He turned himself into a cyborg. Do we get to talk to him? Sought the sill. Wow. That's, uh... That doesn't look great. Is he missing his legs? What's going on here? Is he... Did he build himself? Like, I guess my question is, is this in the process and he's in control of the process? Or, because it looks like he's screaming a little bit, you know? Or did this thing go horribly wrong? You know what I mean? Also, what is this thing? It looks like it's supposed to be a spine or a tail, maybe? No, that's the, uh, the coccyx, right? So the part of the bone. Let's talk to him, dude. Is he going to beg us to kill him? You have found the body of Sothisil, his lifeless hulk dangling from a contraption of his own making. Someone has obviously been here before you. Ah. Almalexia, I would wager. And then I'm going to turn around. So you were never meant to survive or something like that. I found the corpse of Sothisil. The god's body has been ravaged by powerful forces. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's no good. So... It's also interesting that the face... It's like a mask he was trying to make with, uh... Similar to Dagoth Ur, maybe? But now what? Do we recall out of here, or... Someone has obviously been here before you. Yeah, okay, Elmo. Yeah, oh, here we go, yep. This clockwork city was to be your death. You were to be my greatest martyr. The heroic Nerebarine, sacrificing all to protect Morrowind from a mad selfless sin. But you live. You live. Fear not. I will tell the tale myself when this is done. I will tell my people how with your dying breath you proclaimed your devotion to me. The one true God. Your death will end this prophecy and unite my people again under one God, one faith, one rule by my divine law. The puppet king will lay down his arms and bow to my will. Those who do not yield will be destroyed. Are we gonna fight now? Hand has allowed <clears throat> me to travel to this place. Here I slew Sothasil. Here I summoned the fabricants to attack Mornhold. I will be the savior of my people. I alone will be their salvation. None may stand in my way. Not you, and certainly not Vivek. He is a poet, a fool. I will deal with him when I have finished with you. And so the sin. He always thought himself our better, shunning us, locking himself in his hole. He spoke not a word as he died, not a whisper. Even in death he mocked me with his silence. But I think you will scream, mortal. For now, you face the one true God. Alright, so, first off... Okay, it explains the band, but it doesn't... I mean, sort of. It doesn't explain what it does. Because presumably she had the... well... Presumably they had equal power, and he would have kept her out, but she used the band to teleport in. I guess. Um, 
Also, I noticed she's wearing a mask. Uh, that's maybe like his? Like the one he was constructing? I don't know. Uh, also, the whole having her walk back and forth. Uh, again, the scripting thing. I'm sure they're very proud of it. Is it... The thing is, is it supposed to represent her fall from grace? Because she's walking, not floating. You know? Uh, but, I don't know. I mean, again, she kind of appears and she does a, a exposition dump and I'm just like, maybe they could have... I, I, I think I would have... Like, I don't... I don't really care. And I think I would have had they made it more of a mystery. You know, it would have been a twist if maybe the attack happened right at the beginning and then it's like, oh, you gotta figure out who, where these things came from, who they are, why... You know? And everything was in service of that. And then you get here and it's a twist, right? You think she's good. Because they were like, oh, she's she's crazy. And then she's like, oh, I want to turn the ash storms. And you get there and she's like, I betrayed you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I don't know. And she talks about, oh, the one true God. It's like there was never one true God. It was always the triumvirate, you know? I, I, it's just very odd to me. It. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I don't know if the people that made this were the same ones that made the original. Uh, but it's not. It's not the same. So anyway, all right, let's uh, whatever stamina. We gotta fight her. We'll do mighty blows, I guess. I. I don't know. I have Sujama, I have Nord Mead. I have this stuff, which we should probably do. It's not even that great. Well, we'll pull out the thing for... We'll do this first. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course. She's got her sword. Oh, wow, that hurt. Weakness to fire, Almalexia's wrath, and shock damage. Okay, well... Exclusive Restore Health, we'll use one of these. And just in case, we'll use a Quality as well. And screw it, let's use a Nord Mead. She knocked me down, the bitch. Whoa, baby! Another rest couple restore healths. Healths. Let's, um, hmm. Uh, and Ring of Azura as well. It's really slow, though. My god. I mean, I'm kind of used to whack, 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 whack with, with keening, but... Okay, well, she's dead. Journal updated. Oh yeah, from the Nord Mead. Alright, Almalex has appeared in the Clockwork City, revealed all using the dimension traveling powers of the Mazed Band. I... Uh, okay. Tell... Telling me instead of showing me, or instead of telling me a different way. Almalexia traveled to the Clockwork City to slay Sothisil and to portal the Fabricants to Mournhold. She believes the time of the Tribunal has ended, and she alone may usher Morrowind into a new era as the one savior of her people. I fear it is Almalexia who has gone mad, and not Sothisil. Almalexia is dead at my hand. The gods hope to make 
to leave me here dead and make me a martyr to her new cause. Now she and Sothisil both lie dead in what is left of the Clockwork City. Um, I mean, they, they talked about the Clockwork City. I actually would have preferred Puzzle. I mean, I know it's stupid and it probably would have made me fume a little bit, annoyed, but a puzzle where the rooms shift around. Rather than, oh, this puzzle opens a door, this switch opens a door, or you gotta run past the thing, like, kinda, eh, you know? Well, I guess that means, it's strange that we can't take her armor, but we get the other blade, Hope's Fire, True Flame. Huh. Oh, I see. It's the minimum is higher, but the maximum is lower. So that actually, yeah, makes sense. And it's shock damage. All right. And then what do we have? Barrel Zara's Mazed Band. Summon Fabricant. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Does it attack us, though? I really want... Why did it not give me her armor? Like, that's in her mask. You know? That's really creepy, by the way. What was he... What was he doing to himself? You know? Part of me makes it... I'm, I'm kind of glad he didn't... Um... Have a journal. Oh, I'm doing this, you know? Because now you're like... You could see it. You're like... Wow, he's like half transformed. What was he doing? Where's, uh... There it is. Oh! Really? All right. Oh, that's too bad. I thought it would... I was like, let's kill it so I could take the, the stuff off of it, but no. Okay, that's fine. Hope's Fire, True Flame, Shadow Shield. Oh yeah, all the, all the stuff. Now the question is, can I just recall? Vivek, Mournhold, Sothasil, or nowhere. Interesting. Where in Vivek does it take you? I want to try the Amulet of Recall first. See if we can even get out of here. Okay. It doesn't... All right. I was hoping you could actually, I, I don't know, later I guess they explain it, or maybe that's in Elder Scrolls Online where they're like, oh, the Heart of Lorcan, or do you visit it before, before the play, the before this? I don't know. So he's still alive? Unknown. So, okay, you need the Mazed Band. Let's go to Mournhold. Feel a powerful force, interrupt the Maze Band spell, and pull you towards Mournhold. Yes? Okay. Uh... Right? That's where we were trying to go. But it basically, I think it's like, oh, you're supposed to go, you're trying to go somewhere else. Wait the goddess's command. Wait the goddess's command. So, question. All right. So what now? 
What do you want? Let's see. Almalex is healing mother, source of compassion and sympathy, and protector of the poor and weak. I found... Okay. Uh... I found Sothisil dead and killed Almalexia. I guess that's... But Vivek is still alive, right? Or I could say, thank you, but unless we go... What's it, what happens if we say this? Puzzled. You are a foreigner. Many foreigners cannot understand our living gods. Are you speaking figuratively, in metaphors, in some poetic way? Are you a follower of some peculiar Western cult? Please excuse me, but what you say makes no sense at all. Yeah. Trust in gods and justice. Oh, he doesn't like me anymore. Uh, okay. Thank you, but I must be going. Farewell. You know, I mean, he's not... Oh, really? There we go. That's works for me. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, except let's go back to, uh, the king, I guess? Oh! Is this Almalexia or Azura? You have done well, mortal. The death of Almalexia is a boon for all of Morrowind, though it may take time for this to be understood. She would have betrayed the Dummer as surely as she had betrayed all those whom she loved. This was her curse, and her undoing. Weep not for Sothasil. He shed his mortality long ago, and I am certain his death was no small relief to him. These gods lived with the burden of a power no mortal was meant to possess. Your work in Morrowind is not finished, Nerebarim. Vivek still lives, but I believe his time grows short. Protect my people. Defend these lands. The skies of Mournhold are clear once again. Let these people suffer no longer. Now go, mortal. Embrace your destiny and go with my blessing. Oh, I guess I didn't notice. Were the trees bad before? Because all of a sudden I saw them change. I noticed the skies were clear, though, so that was Azura. Um, okay. Her, so her nature was to betray those that she loved? That's interesting. Uh, let's go talk to the king real fast. I was going to stop right there, but this might be the last episode, which is very strange to me. I'd like to end it. I mean, on on that note, to be honest. But the but the king was like, "Oh, when you found out who was behind the attacks, come tell me." And I'm like, "Well, now what?" Your reputation does you honor, Sarah. I've been hearing many stories about you, Loxley, and about the goddess. In fact, I've been hearing stories about a great deal of strange happenings in my city. I sent you to learn more about the attacks. I'll assume the rumors I've heard relate to that. Oh, that's an interesting little thing. Ear jewelry, but yeah. Oh, here we go. The attacks were Almalexia's doing, and now you say that both she and Sothasil lie dead in the Clockwork City. She murders Sothasil and then tries to kill you as well. Astounding. I believe your tale, Loxley, but do not expect my people to be so accepting of it. Well, it, this is what I don't understand, because they still live based on the worship of their followers, right? So Vivek, he was already like, yeah, you can kill my mortal body. It's basically asleep, though, and eventually it'll wake back up. Because he's a god. But he's still a god because of the faith of the people. So this doesn't really make any sense. Maybe you could soul trap his, you know, I knew can, you could do that. Oh, I guess I should have done that with her, but... Um, maybe that prevents them like because they're trapped in the gem and now then they can't wake up after that or maybe that's like they can't re-manifest in the mortal plane after that but they're still they're, they're god 
spirit is still alive. I don't know. It's it's kind of I don't know. Uh, let's see. You'll find it's not so easy to kill these gods in the hearts and minds of their followers. It will take time, but this will be a new era for Morrowind, and I will lead them into it. You have done well, my friend. You have my gratitude. Journal updated. Got all the Royal Guard armor. I guess I'm an honorary Royal Guard. But he's not a good guy. Right? I mean, it's heavily implied that he's been murdering his way to the throne. Which is, I mean, that's that makes him a strong leader. You know, you have to be the King Snake, but it doesn't make... I... I don't... I don't know. He's like, oh, we're friends. And I'm like, you're a terrible person, though. I mean, I guess I am, too. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm over-encumbered, aren't I? I'm not! How? Oh, wow, just barely. Oh, it's medium armor. All right, uh... I guess that's it. I really... Must be going crazy talking to myself like that. I don't know what to think now, if I'm being honest. I'm a little bit freaked out. Because I was expecting another... I mean... I mean, I know there's more. There's more quests, obviously. There's... There's... There's stuff that still has not been done. Um, both in this DLC, Solstheim, Main Morrowind. I could go kill Vivek, I suppose, but... Um, I think I'm done. I, I really thought it would take longer to get through the Clockwork City. I figured we'd talk to him. I figured we'd have to kill him. I knew... I knew... Um, or maybe we could talk him out of it, and then later Almalexia would kill him or something. I knew she killed him. I just didn't know it was... It was already done. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. And then I figured there was more to his quest line as well. Not just... Oh yeah, that's that's the quest. It it It's kind of a mess. And it really shows me how good regular Morrowind is. Right like Morrowind itself is fantastic. Even today, like people, you know, you people talk about mods and they talk about graphics mods basically. Primarily, I think. I mean, I haven't looked a lot about it, but everybody's like, oh, it's an old game. Install these new things to make it look newer. And I'm like, why? If there were things I would change, it would maybe be... More variety in the combat, I suppose. Maybe change up instead of one rat... Um, I don't know. Make it occasionally a not even necessarily heavily armed bandits, but um, you know, you could mix it up. You could have have bandits with paralyzing stuff and bad arm. You know, just something different. You could have a couple heavily armored dudes with fists. You know, or. Just something to, to spice up the combat and make it a little bit more not more challenging, more variety. Um, not necessarily rely on just increasing the amount of damage they do or the, the amount of hit points they have. Something that actually makes you use uh, these all these things you have around that um you know, all these scrolls that I'm carrying around with me. Um you know, I keep thinking about that one cave in Solstheim, which is maybe the highest point of combat in the whole game. That smuggler cave, the weapon smuggler cave in Solstheim, that might have been the most engaging I've ever found the combat in these whole 270 hours. Um... And I want more of stuff like stuff that lets that lets me feel that level of engagement. That's what I would want. That's what I would mod in. I actually love these graphics. I like 
seeing what they could do. You know, what they were trying to do. I don't care about the, you know, they were pushing it. And it looks, for back then, it looked fantastic. Like, this was cutting edge. And I, I don't think it looks bad. Um, I love, actually, the textures. Because this is, it's a fairly simple model. But the textures and stuff, that's what I want to see. Someone talking about how all the robes had specific meaning and the writing was on them for, like, the, the priests. They're whatever the things that hang over the the long piece of cloth that hangs over their neck has writing on it but it means stuff you could translate it apparently you know the fact they wear different colors to correspond to each of their great houses you know and there's different types of architecture and different styles Sedanine is like super muddy and it looks like a ramshackle little town that's awesome that's the world building that I want to see. I don't care about the the graphics necessarily. You could, I mean, stuff like he has a chair made of wood. And you could you could have the commoners talk about it like, oh my god, I touched his chair. It was made of real wood. I've never seen real wood. You know, you could make arrows cost a fortune because they're made out of wood. You know? Or or cork bulb or something like that. You have to it's rare, it's hard to come by, you know? Little things like that are what I love because it's it's the immersion that I crave. I don't care about, um, you know, the little dopamine hits for watching my levels, watching the numbers go up, you know what I mean? I don't really care about that. Uh, it's, it's the emotional connection. It's the either emotional connection from the story or the engagement or the immersion you know engagement from from combat that challenges you or the engagement from feeling immersed you know feeling like a part of the story where i have to puzzle out what the hell is going on you know what do i think about dagoth ur and nervar and vivek do i think dagoth ur was betrayed do i think he was uh he went mad I don't, I mean, that's, that's fantastic, right? Um, the, I think what I mentioned earlier about the overarching plot in Tribunal, how there really wasn't one, and same with Solstheim, and that, that contrast to Morrowind's main quest, and why Morrowind's main quest is so strong compared to the DLC is because of that main plot, how it, it's, it's, it has a beginning, middle, and end. You know, there's a arc. And they could have fixed it in Tribunal. They had sort of the they had all the pieces, but they weren't in the right order. Um, and Oblivion, I was thinking about this, they kind of did that. It's almost, I think. Because it was it was all about Oblivion. They they told you what the threat was at the beginning through the, the prophecy or whatever, but You know, and yes, I realize Oblivion Gates popping up all over the place was meant to do that, but I don't think it succeeded. Uh, Story-wise, it's it's really strange. Morrowind, I think, is... I think it's like a, one of those lucky random happenstances. Like, I don't necessarily think they were trying to do this. They were probably trying to make Oblivion or Skyrim. But I think that that one dude or the, the however many dudes that were working on the lore and the writing and stuff, I think that's what made it so special. Uh, and the game is special. I'm not... And I know I've, I've been... I said I was tired of it in the last few episodes. And I, I kind of am, I'm, but I'm not... I guess that's not correct. I'm tired of doing this for the channel. I don't... I'm not tired of the game. Maybe I'm tired of the DLC. Because I love the original game. I love wandering around and exploring stuff and looking in a barrel and, oh my god, there's an amulet of recall. I need one of those. You know? Stuff like that. It's these little things that you find that just make... It's, it's the little things that make everything special. Um... Man, if you guys watch this whole series, thank you. 
Um, thanks for coming on this journey with me. This is really getting a little emotional. <sighs> this was great. This was really, really fantastic. I don't know why I thought the kitty was up here. Maybe he was, and I... I think he started off up there, but then, uh... I was just so into this. I know he went across, but, uh... Anyway. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I want you guys to know how much it means, because... You know, it takes a while to do this, but... I mean, I watch Let's Plays and stuff like that all the time, too, and... I mean, me personally, I don't have the time to watch all the videos that I want to watch. So, you guys, even if you have a bunch of time, you know, that's that's time that you're choosing to spend on me, basically. And I, I really do appreciate that, so thank you. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I, I really thought this would go for a while longer. Um, but I still have a backlog of Steam games I want to... I want to try and get through, so maybe we'll try and do some of those. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just have to kind of cool down from Morrowind. It's, it's been so long that I don't really know what to do now. I've been, I've been playing a couple of my own games that I think, like I, Divine Cybermancy, that I thought would, uh, like that one, I'm kind of glad I didn't do for the channel because it's it's not bad, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not good either. That's, I think, the problem. Um, yeah, but seriously, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do try and read all of them, assuming they're not memory hold, which apparently like 40% of them are. I don't know how that works. I don't like it, though. Um, I try and save... Because some get filtered, and I try and save those. Even if it's like, are you sure you want to approve this? This blah, blah, blah. This is hidden from view. And I'm like, approve, whatever. I don't care. Someone else calling someone calling someone else a, the F word. Approve. You know. I'll probably get in trouble, but whatever. Um, Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me know your, your comments and questions and concerns and stuff. I'll, I'll try and read all of them. I try and respond to all of them. Um, I'm usually kind of slow about it. I don't check the channel every day. But uh, but yeah, I do try and read all of them. So, so there you go. Notice that, I mean, just know that you're not being ignored necessarily. At least that's my goal. What is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, I'm going to go with Morrowind in general, I guess. Just... It's been so long. I've wanted to play it, but I never, uh... I'm glad we did it this way, because I think the first time I tried to play it, when I tried to look at every, you know, look in every crate, which I kind of did already, uh, and go in every dungeon and all that stuff, that just wasn't feasible with this. Um, but... Actually going through it, like, the original Morrowind, or at least the main quest, is really, really great. Really fantastic. I think it still holds up if, as long as you're not one of those people that only cares about the graphics. Like, oh, it looks old. Okay. You know? But that is definitely my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys are just as good, if not better. Hopefully, but of course. I hope you guys, I know at least one of the commenters was like, oh, I restarted playing this game because I watched you play it, or I'm watching you play it. And that's awesome to me. It happens to me all the time, too. I'll watch someone someone else doing a Let's Play, and I'll be like, ah, you know, I need to go back and play that game. So it's cool that I'm finally able to sort of give back in that regard, I guess. Um, but yeah, this was really great, and I, I had a really great time, and I really hope you guys had a good time watching it. That's my unique pause moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time, where I, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll figure something out. Till then, guys, take care.